then um, I wanted to talk about this, which is pretty bleak, to be honest. Sorry for the kind of tough topic to stop to start the pod with. But this is courtesy of BBC News. And it happened a while ago, or a couple of days ago, sorry. And it's regarding Club Q in Colorado shooting. And it's pretty sad when you really analyze the details as to the shooter and the things that could have been done beforehand in order to ensure this occurred, this occurrence had happened. But I just wanted to cover the story regardless. So this says here, Club Colorado shooting, attack was ended by a dad and show performer. It says, a father and a club performer managed to subdue a gunman who opened fire at an LGBT LGBT nightclub in the US state of Colorado it has emerged the attacker killed five people and left 17 others injured at Club Q in Colorado Springs on Saturday night officials named the heroes who halted the attack as Ricard sorry as Richard Fierro and Thomas James without detailing their actions Mr. Fierro provided an account of the events um, saying he tackled the suspect and took the weapon and hit them with it it's not clear if Mr. James is the performer Mr. Fierro says he stopped he stepped in to help um, at a Monday afternoon press conference, police had identified the victims as Daniel Ashton, Derek Rump, Kelly Loving, Ashley Powell, and Raymond Vance. Family members say Ashton and Rump were both bartenders at Club Q. Jesus Christ. The suspect named as police as 22-year-old Anderson Lee Aldrich is in police custody in hospital. The gunman was stopped by a 15-year U.S. Army veteran who was attending a performance at the club with his wife and daughter. Speaking to the reporters on a Monday evening, Richard Fierro said his combat training kicked in as he pounced on the gunman, pulling him to the floor by his body armor. I just ran over there. Got him. I'm thinking, I gotta kill this guy. He's gonna kill my kid. He's gonna kill my wife said the iraq and iran sorry the iraq and afghanistan veteran it's the reflex mr fierro said after from the front yard of a suburban colorado springs home go to the fire go go stop the action stop the activity don't let no one get hurt the local brewery owner said he and his family had dropped to the floor as the bullets began to fly he described seeing the government move in the direction of a patio where other club girls had fled before charging at him there are some of the pictures of the victims from left Daniel Ashton, Ashley Pugh and Derek Rump. Absolutely tragic. And he said the man dropped his rifle as he fell. They began to wrestle on the ground. Mr. Fierro said he snatched the attacker's pistol from him and used it to beat him. I kept wailing on him. Um, I'm a big dude and this guy was bigger. He told reporters that he urged a performer from the club to kick the attacker in the head. One of the performers was walking by and I told him to kick him in the head and she took her high heel and stuffed it in his face. Mr. Fierro said one of the dead included his daughter's boy friend oh my god jesus christ raymond vance Colorado Springs Mayor John Suthers hailed the bystanders incredible act of heroism. Yeah, if he didn't step in, that guy would have probably ended up killing way more people. He said that he had spoken to Mr. Ferrer on Monday telling reporters, I've never encountered a person who engaged in such a heroic action that was so humble about it. Uh, praise also came from the governor of Colorado as well as the owner of the club who said the heroes had probably saved lives. Police have are looking into who owned the rifle allegedly used in the shooting as well as the handgun the suspect was carrying at the time of the arrest. Investigations will determine whether the shooting which came in the eve of the Sunday's transgender day remnants was a hate crime and if the suspect acted alone. The suspect is facing five murder charges and five charges of committing bias, motivated crime causing bodily injury. According to US media, investigators said on Tuesday that no charges had yet been formally filed. Club Q has been described as the heart of the LGBT community in Colorado Springs, a city seven miles, 70 miles south of Denver. The suspect had reportedly previously come to police attention over alleged bomb threat in 2021. According to police report at the time, his mother had called emergency services saying he had threatening to cause harm to her with a homemade bomb multiple weapons and ammunition president joe biden said america cannot and must not tolerate hate in 2016 449 people were killed in a shooting of pulse gay nap club in orlando florida at the time it was the deadliest mass shooting in u.s history the thing that's really concerning about this is that having analyzed a little bit more of the story especially when it comes to the assailant it looks like he was under police watch what's that term that they use um, he was on their radar when it comes to him being a little bit, um, you know, a little bit of a crazy person, especially when it comes to the bomb threat that he, um, you know, did towards his mum. And the thing that's really crazy about it is that if he would have got charged for that bomb threat, he most likely wouldn't have been able to get a gun. And the fact that he wasn't and that his records were sealed basically made his ability to go and get a gun, just what I've read online, a lot easier. So what it's kind of proving is that although there is a probably 
a, a debate to be had about gun control in the US. We all know this. This is pretty much obvious to say. There is also another debate that needs to be had for the lack of um, the lack of due diligence and really the lack of uh, the lack of people doing their job well when it comes to background checks and when it comes to the things that are already in place to make sure people who shouldn't be getting guns shouldn't get guns and the ones that can can. You know what I mean? It's that kind of situation. And the other unfortunate part of it also is the fact that this obviously targeted a vulnerable group of people who were by all accounts in a place that they called home in a place that they felt safe in and then you you know i think i read an account or listened to a guy who was hospital talking about how he heard the bullets but so he heard the yeah he heard the gunshots but to him he just assumed it was balloons because they usually have a lot of balloons in that club and people step on them when they're on a nightclub if people do it all the time i've been in clubs where people do it to kind of spook somebody so he just assumed it was balloons and it was only after about i think he said the seventh the seventh shot he finally realized oh no that's actually a gun so it took a while for everyone to realize that it was actually a gun which may have led to the number of deaths but it's also pretty astonishing to think that only five people died in a packed nightclub do you know what i mean in a place that's pretty small you would imagine you know they already that that guy who kind of saved a lot of people the hero he was there with his wife and his daughter so clearly it's a place that a lot of people go to just for a drink anyway it may, it may be one of the only bars in that small town that they live in that might be open to a certain time so it's not even like only gay people go there so it was probably pretty full on that night so he he went there on a extremely full night and only managed to kill five people is an absolute miracle but the fact that five people anyway had to lose their lives in such a happy and joyous moment just breaks my heart man it really is one of the saddest stories i've read uh, you know this week on top of what obviously happened in walmart with that manager walking into his walmart and killing you know 10 of his flipping colleagues absolutely wild to see what's happening now in the world and um yeah man hopefully that guy gets buried under the jail and of course big up to the hero Richard to Fierro for being a hero and stepping up and having balls to do so because in these situations it probably helps that he's a former army vet because he literally ran to ran to the danger I think any other person would have been trying to preserve their life and those around them and maybe would have froze in action or whatever it may be but it probably took somebody who was obviously in the army before to sort of help in that situation and defuse it and essentially what he did by his actions was that he was willing to put his own life on the line to save others which is something that you don't see a lot of people do so a bigger to Richard Fierro and you know hopefully he gets all the commendations needed and he has and he heals as well from this because it might be super super traumatic for everybody involved maybe not for him because maybe he's seen combat but I still think to be where in that sort of place and to have your daughter's boyfriend die right in front of you what that daughter's going through also I can't imagine man I honestly can't imagine um, but yeah, praise everybody involved from the Club Q shooting and hopefully justice is served. Hopefully justice is served.